Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today's video is all about enhancing your productivity at work using one of the most powerful tools at your disposal, Microsoft Excel. We'll explore some tips and tricks that can make you a master at Excel, ultimately making your work life more efficient and organized. But before we dive in, I have something important to share. BitNX is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. If you want to stay ahead in your career and harness the power of AI to boost your productivity, the link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you'll be asking me? Because you're not using ChatGPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's get started with our first tip. One of the often overlooked features in Excel is the ability to change the order in which you edit cells. By default, Excel moves from left to right and then top to bottom. But did you know you can change this order to suit your workflow better? Stick around to discover how this simple tweak can significantly enhance your efficiency. For example, here you can see, I just want to enter some formula to demonstrate. I want to multiply the quantity with 2. So here you can see, after entering the value, if I click enter, you can see I am moving from that cell to, to the down cell. So if I want to stay in that particular cell only, then I have to change this settings. So go to preferences. Now here you have to click on edit. Here you can see this option after pressing return, move selection downwards, right side, upwards and left side. So I don't want to select any other option. I just want to remove this feature itself. So for that, I just have to uncheck this option. And I'm just going to close this thing. So now here, for example, I want to multiply this quantity with three. Then I'm just pressing enter. So I'm staying in that cell only. Now let's move on to our second point. Autofill is a time saver. But did you know you can customize it to match your specific needs? We'll explore some hacks to supercharge your autofill game, making repetitive tasks a breeze. Stay tuned for this Excel Ninja technique. For example, here you can see in this table we are having department column and then employee name column. So this particular employee belongs to this department in his company. So I just want to create a list whenever I type department I should get all these departments underneath in preceding cells. So let's create a custom list. For this, you have to go to preferences. Here we have to click on custom list. Here, one thing we can do, we can import list from cells. So let's do that. So I want to import from these cells. Then click on import. As you can see, then I'm clicking on 
add so our new list is added so let's try this thing so here i'm just going to enter department then i'm going to drag this thing you can see all the other departments are coming hr finance marketing it sales operations research and development customer service engineering administration so if i drag this again you can see so again department hr moving on to next point ever wondered how ai can assist in organizing your data we'll explore the capabilities of chat gpt in excel and how it can streamline your data management tasks this is where the synergy between human intelligence and ai truly shines so for this one here you can see we are having data like this which is comma separated one so we are having employee id employee name department and joining date in one cell only which is comma separated so with the help of chat gpt i want this data to be distributed in these columns so let's do this thing so let's enter the prompt write an excel formula to extract the comma separated values from cell a2 to b2 c2 d2 and e2 so let's copy the formula so i'm going to paste it here then i'm going to click on enter then i'm just going to drag it like this then i'm going to drag it here so you can see the output now after these three tips let's take a moment to consider the bigger picture a is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by ai and what not you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well ai won't replace you but the person using ai will if you want to save your job and become replaceable in your career join our two hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best ai tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now moving on to the next point in the corporate world efficiently retrieving information is the key we'll demonstrate a practical use case using chat gpt to find an employee's name with the help of their id saving you time and effort as you can see here we are having employee id along with employee name so if i give employee id i should get employee name so let's ask chat gpt for this thing i have excel sheet with employee id and employee name give me formula 
to find the employee name with employee id so let's copy the formula so let's paste the formula here so here we need to select the range of the values so let's do that here we have to give the employee id for which we are going to look for employee name so let's find david miller then i'm going to click on enter you can see we got david miller now moving on to our last tip typos can be a predictive killer discover how to leverage excel's auto correct feature to reduce typing errors and speed up your data entry this small adjustment can make you a big difference in your day to day task for example whenever i want to write data science i just type ds as you can see how to create this thing so for that you have to go to tools then you have to click on auto correct options so here you need to write for example da with data analytics so i'm just going to add this thing now here you can see whenever i type da i'm getting data analytics and that's it for now before we wrap up if you found this excel tips helpful don't forget to like comment and share this video subscribe to our youtube channel for more insightful content and of course click the workshop link in the description box below to secure your spot in our microsoft office using ai tools workshop enhance your skills secure your future we'll see you there thank you for watching